Peter Eby started his career as a bond trader at Burns Brothers and Denton, where he quickly became managing director and was largely responsible for the merger between Burns Brothers and Fry's, Mills and Spence, becoming Burns Fry Limited. He built the firm's investment banking operation and upon merging Burns Fry Limited with Nesbitt Thompson, became vice chairman of Nesbitt Burns. During his distinguished 37-year career, Peter mentored many of the industry's current leaders. His unrivaled skills in deal-making, investment banking, and corporate advisory earned him the respect of colleagues and competitors. I think Peter's greatest contribution to industry was that he was a real role model as an investment banker, not only from the partners at Burns, but also for all of our uh, strongest competitors. They had great respect for him, admired the way he conducted himself, and they learned a lot from him. That was one of, the, one of his great uh, contributions. And also, Peter uh, played a key role in the, the merger of Burns Brothers and Denton and Fry Mill Spence in 1976 and arranged for a very smooth transition, the management, the two companies. And he also played a key role in the merger between Burns Fry and Nesbitt Thompson when BMO acquired Burns Fry in 1994. So those contributions of Peter enabled our company to continue to grow and become one of the best investment banks in Canada. He was very loyal to his clients. He was very hardworking. He was conducting very serious business, but he didn't take himself too seriously. And I think we all remember his infectious laugh. I think even in the hardest times, his ability to get through a deal or a day or a tough situation with a big smile on his face. Um, he, was really, he was really an infectious personality in addition to having a great investment banking career. He would like to be remembered, I think, uh, as a great friend, uh, as a great mentor, as a deal maker, uh, and a trusted advisor to his clients as well as his colleagues and his friends. I think Peter would like to be remembered for the thoughtful advice that he provided to Corporate Canada and for his partnership um, within the BMO organization and uh, for his disciplined and ethical approach um, to the financial industry. Peter had a great sense of humor. He uh, loved communicating with all of us and uh, sharing stories about all the wonderful things that happened during the Burns Fry years. And uh, thanks to him, I, uh, one of my favorite expressions was, uh, laughter is the best medicine. You know, there are other people who were the face of Burns Fry. Peter Eby was the soul. He, he represented the kind of uh, culture and ethics that that firm had. And people were just, people wanted to work at Burns Fry. It was just seen as a, a, as a firm with a deep culture. And a lot of it can be attributed to Peter Eby. He was, he was very much, uh, he was very much the driver of the culture at uh, Burns Fry. He would love to be here, for sure. And he'd love to uh, connect with all the partners at Burns, but also all of the people, the corporate clients and, uh, and uh, our competitors. He'd be humbled by it, but he'd be honored by it as well. Peter uh, is a, was a very humble person, and I think he would be uncomfortable at being inducted into the industry, even though deep down, he would recognize that um, it is a most deserving award uh, for him. And I think he would just say uh, a simple thank you. And it was a pleasure to work within the financial industry during his career.